Hey there, Tinkercad friends. A while back, I showed you an awesome Code Blocks Pyramid. And today, I came up with an idea where we can take that Code Blocks Pyramid and actually use it in normal Tinkercad. So I'm gonna slide down and find my Code Blocks Tinkercad Pyramid, and let me show you how this all comes together. All right, so this is the Code Blocks Pyramid. I'm gonna hit uh, fast speed and hit play so you can see how it turns out. I've got two things to share with you. Uh, first, is you can change the numbers so that it actually makes it to the top. Uh, I challenged my students yesterday to do it. If you just do more layers, you will run into the I used too many primitives box. So what you need to do is go back here where your variable max was six and change it to something like four so that your pyramid is a little bit smaller. But that is how easy it is to adjust what we created to actually make it so it closes at the top. Then you just fiddle with the numbers until you find the exact right one. The part I want to show you today is how to take what you just built and use it in normal Tinkercad. And it is as simple as clicking export and choosing part. When you choose the part option on the right hand side, you need to na name it. I'm going to name mine pyramid and I'm going to put four because it was made out of four. And then I'm simply going to save the part. With that part then saved, you need to return to Tinkercad. And I'm going to create a brand new design. And then you can bring in your amazing new part by clicking the basic shapes choice, finding part collection, and find the things you built. Here is my little pyramid. I can now bring it in. And it is a stretchable, adjustable, colorable work of art. You can have all kinds of fun with it, cutting out holes like for an entrance. You could also use cool tools like Scribble, uh, so you could add your own Sphinx or whatever you wanted with your cool pyramid. So friends, I hope you'll have a lot of fun with the skill and find useful places you can use it. If you enjoyed this video, please hammer that like button. If you got a question or a comment, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, click the notifications bell so you can be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, H.L. Montag. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.